Okay, so it's Wednesday evening, I think. Every day is Wednesday. I'm taking you to the pond, so no rishing at the moment. Maggie, come on. So I just wanted to show you all the different plants that are up here. A lot of them are like invasives. So that'll be frowned upon in the pond world, apparently. I think they're raspberries, yeah. All sorts of different things going on here. Some really lovely wildflowers. They're lovely. And the ferns, so just been watching ferns popping up, uncoiling. Beautiful. So the pond, so there's, the, oh, you can't really see it. I'm drying the golf out there. Got it out the shed and opening the doors, getting it dry. <clears throat> so the pond, this is what was the pond. Hasn't got anything, any water in it at the moment. It's totally dry, so that it's fed from the runoff off our house. Um, and we need to do something with it. So Dad's built this, and I tell you what, he's made a cracking job but knows there's some work to do. So all these things in front of me that you see, they're really starting to take over. So the different, these things here are different to these things here. So my job is to take all of these ones out. It's gonna take me a while, but and I think I'll need to wear wellies because actually in there is a bit of water. Oh. Cass thinks something's happening when there actually isn't. Nothing's happening at the moment, he just barks at nothing. So I call him the scaremongrel. Sam, you'll like that. Um, okay, so I'm going to take these out. But when there's, we've had ducks sitting on there in the middle. They have one return the other day, so I was a bit worried about the other one, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I think I've seen them actually on Colomendi, but the amount of plants in here is just amazing. All different ones. So you'll probably be able to spot things, I have no idea, so I don't know, even know what's invasive and what's not. So I did start, I didn't get very far, but that's what my dad came down to show me exactly what he wanted, so that's what I did then. So there's the dogs, they think it's great. Although they're not allowed to come up on here on their own because they arrive back wet, which is no good. But this, what is a pond that isn't a pond at the moment, actually has two little ones as well. So I'm just showing you the plants because you might be able to tell me what's here and what's not. Um, and if I need to take anything out. Um, but here's another little pond here. Ooh. Um, but actually, I know it doesn't look great and it does need work, but it is teeming with wildlife. All sorts of frogs and those things that skate on the water. I wouldn't be surprised if there's newts in there. There's those blooming things that I need to get rid of, but that's the second one. So I think I need to get cracking soon because otherwise all of this is going to just grow really quickly and I don't fancy working in a load of these bad boys when they get big. So I think, so there's the water pipe, so that actually runs all the way up to the house and the water that comes off the house roof feeds it so obviously because we haven't had any water <laughs> it's empty but I think the plan is to try and do something about it somebody that knows about ponds might be able to advise but I think we we're going to try and clay line it this was this went beyond the clay so hasn't held the water and I think once you hit the clay and go through it you've basically had it so we've put some liner in but unfortunately and that's why my dad would tell me off my dogs being loose around it and I think one of my dogs might have jumped in it by accident or well, probably not by accident actually she was probably really game to have a little splash um, but yeah so we just need to do it and we want to do it properly um, so that it does hold water and we can get the duckies back hopefully but yeah so that's the pond some more stuff going on here I think it's surprising how actually diverse this little ecosystem is in terms of plants but like I say if you spot anything that you think I need to be removing please just tell me um, because it's a bit of trial and error for me I'm afraid at the moment and then you can see it goes up into the woods there so the sun's 
don't know what time of night it is, but the dogs were hungry, so it's probably about eight-ish, I'm not sure. Um, but that's coming through that side there, which is lovely. Anyway, hope you like it. <laughs>